All right, guys, welcome back to Iron Views TV, your home of everything West Ham United. I'm pleased to introduce our first episode in our Football Manager series today. Just a fairly basic experiment to kick things off, but hopefully you find it entertaining. Check it out. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've loaded up Football Manager with the uh, new database, including all of the summer transfers, all of the new teams in the Premier League, the promotions and relegations. That's all been included in here. So if we have a quick look at the West Ham squad, you can see all the new signings. We've got Moses, Song, Jelovic, anyone who came in on deadline day or over the summer transfer window is now in West Ham's team. So what we're going to do, we're going to be fast forwarding to the end of January to see how West Ham have done up to then in the season. And then we're going to go forward a few more months until the end of the campaign and see how Bilic has done in his first season as West Ham manager. So guys, we have now simmed to the end of the January transfer window. Let's have a look how West Ham are doing in the Premier League. As you can see, it's not going too badly for West Ham, but nothing incredible either. They're only three points above the drop zone after four wins, 11 draws, a lot of draws there and eight losses. If we click on the team here, we can have a look at some of the uh, stats um, in the league. So as you can see, uh, Ogbonna is a, and Ogbonna and Song made uh, 22 appearances each. Let's take a look at goals. Ena Valencia leading the way with seven goals and two assists in uh, 21 appearances so far. Then uh, Sacco behind that, but he's currently on international duties. Arate getting some game time too. Then if we go over to average rating, you can see that Creswell, uh, unsurprisingly, doing very well at left back again. And Alex Song also looking good. In fact, there's quite a few players on seven with over a seven rating there, which is uh, always encouraging. Um, if we go down to the bottom here, you can see that Kiyate hasn't had the best of times. Only played four games actually, which is quite interesting. Uh, heading up, Moses not doing incredibly well so far. If we look at the Premier League overall, you can see uh, that Chelsea are leading the way with Liverpool just behind them, and it's Sunderland, Bournemouth, and Palace who make up the relegation places. If we go to the overall player stats, let's see if there are any West Ham players that are in amongst these tables. Uh, so we can see that Zarate shots on target ratio, 55% uh, is going well at the moment. Winston Reid with eight yellow cards, so discipline clearly uh, not incredible. Ah, oh, now this is incredibly interesting. Ian Holloway has been named as West Ham manager, which means uh, Bilic must obviously have been sacked. So that is a real surprise. Uh, so Bilic obviously did not have a good start to the season. Let's have a look at some West Ham's results so far. So if we scroll up to the top here, it's clear to see that Bilic had a decent enough start getting a draw and a win in his first two games, but then went on an awful run, winning only once in his about, well look at that, I mean only one win in almost, must be about 20 games there. They were knocked out of the Capital One Cup by Chelsea, you can't really complain by that, and then they're currently still in the FA Cup um, going in to the second half of the season, but obviously Bilic doing an awful job right at the beginning there, which we know, luckily isn't the case in real life. So Holloway has been brought in, maybe not the obvious choice to um, to replace him, but there you go, he's doing okay, had back-to-back -back wins against Norwich and Watford, so picking West Ham up a bit, but yeah, really, really not that encouraging at all. Let's just check if he's made any signings in the Jan January window, he has not, uh, just a few players going out on loan. No, that's very peculiar. So there you have it for the end of January. West Ham, obviously, uh, not by no means down yet, but certainly not in a good position or nearly as good as we thought they were doing. Interestingly enough, the um, the game predicted West Ham to finish 11th this season. So let's see how that will um, compare by the end of it. Let's hope that Ian Holloway can rally the squad and push the team up the table. All right, guys, so at the final part of this video, we can see that West Ham, although they came 15th, they actually qualified for Europe by winning the FA Cup. So if we click on the team here and have a look at the results all the way down, they had a great run all the way to the, um, the FA Cup final. They beat Norwich, they beat Man City in the semi-final before eventually going on to beat Sunderland in the final itself with... Victor Moses, of all people, scoring the winner in the 82nd minute, meaning West Ham qualify for Europe for a technically a second successive year. If we go to the team, we can have a look at the um, at the squad and their average rating. So, uh, again, Creswell, he stayed top with the 7.52, obviously had a very good season. His value has shot up. 
to 10 million, so I suspect he may well be in demand over the summer. Then if you go on to goals, you can see that Valencia in the end got 11 in total, so not a bad tally at all. Sacco chipped in with 9 goals and just 11 starts, obviously a decent season for him too. His value gone up from his original transfer fee as well. And then Dimitri Payet, I'm sure everyone's keen to see how he did. He finished with a 6.99 rating, not bad. 7 goals, 8 assists, played nearly every single game. And his value is at 13.5 million, so clearly a very good player on Football Manager. Um, if we have a quick look at West Ham's run in here, you can see that I mean it was a struggle. They lost four, they all no three of their last three Premier League games, and staying up on 40 points, obviously keeping it very tight. It'll be interesting to see if Holloway keeps the job over the course of the summer, and um, whether he can continue uh, going at the club over the next season. If you'd like me to continue simming seasons just with this updated database, then I'm very happy to do that. We can see how Holloway gets on in his coming seasons with West Ham. But just for this one, we can see West Ham coming 15th, winning the FA Cup. I think we'd probably all take that this year, to be honest, if we could get a, um, a trophy back at the club. So there you go. Not a bad season overall. I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed our first Football Manager video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more Football Manager content like that, just let us know in the comments section. Send us an email or a tweet at IronViews and we'll get it done. That's all for now, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.